Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button right there, right in the corner. And today I'm gonna do the reaction and review of RuPaul's Drag Race Meet the Queens season 13. And like always, you know, I have to pick a comment and on my community tab on my YouTube channel, um, I posted that I was going to do the reaction review of season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race and one person did leave a comment which made me do this reaction and review of Meet the Queens and they said reaction to Meet the Queens and I just said you know what I'll do it just for you so thank you shout outs to you one of my subscribers love you very much and I love all of my subscribers you guys honestly I missed you guys so much so um yeah, let me know if you guys are excited about season 13. And enough of this talking, you guys. Let's get straight into this reaction and review. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to shows on these hosts. Okay. Denali in its okay. native language means the great one. So, done, finished. Work, Miss Denali. My drag is definitely, so I'm very much inspired by nature, ice, very Chicago, ice and cold. <laughs> She's a fishy queen. I love a fishy queen. My reputation, especially in my city, is the performance girl. She's here to kick, she's here to buck, she's here to spin. Oh, she's a dancing, performing girl. Okay, and she's pretty and she's kind. That's cute. A misconception about me is that because I'm a good performer, I like her. Child, you better you better do good in acting, honey. Because if you don't do good at acting, this is not your competition. So far, so good. She's a pretty queen, but something I don't know. I'm not impressed so far. I don't know. She just seems blah to me. Okay, she's a dancer too. She's a pretty girl. That's a dancer, so that's a good thing. She just seems like a textbook robot. Typical answers you would get, you know? I'm not impressed so far with her. Trans winner? Okay. And I never really looked back. It's definitely different painting myself. People think I am very intimidating, especially the way I just paint. Interesting. My face, even if I don't even remember what the question was, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> very it's comfortable so on camera. I really like this one. This season, I'm like, whatever, you guys. Right. I really like this one. It's fine. The like, look is on. I'm done. sorry. So I don't, it means so much for me to be on the show. Love right the personality. So, so, powerful, so strong. this is female to male trans. Okay. I love it. I know people might have their <laughs> objections to it, but drag is an art form, and I think anyone can get on this show. So that's just what it is. Drag and sex are two I'm totally two different things. I'm a, I'm a, but when I get into drag, I want to be like a powerhouse. I want to drive my motorcycle. I like the punk aspect. With Angelina for not wearing a wig, they're like, these are the rules of drag. This isn't good drag. You can't do drag like that. Rules are meant to be broken, darling. I'm going to make you buy it at the end of the day. Work, Miss Joey J. I'm not concerned about being around queens with big personalities because I brought a bunch of marbles. I'm just going to throw them. Oh, that was good. Oh, I love Joey J. I absolutely love Joey J. I know it's different. I know it's a little bit more unique. I've been picked on it for so long. Love the personality. Personality. Just being themselves. Authentic. And I'm like, let's do it. 
love it. It seems like Joey J will say exactly how they feel. Your drag is your drag, my drag is my drag, and that's the beauty of it. And I do plan on changing it up a little bit for you guys. Okay, good. I hope so. I want you, to, you have never had this, you know? I want to be a trailblazer for some of the weirdos out there. Right? Um, We've so had, had actually had it, so but... Candy's always like, what's up, But I like the personality. I kind of like this one. I like Joey J. Well, you know, I will take it. I'd rather be called a legend than like a bitch or a skank. So, hey, I will take it. <laughs> very cunt. Very hot and skate. So when I started drag like eight years ago, Kimora Lee Simmons was really popular at the time. But I was like, I'm gonna change up the spelling, make it more unique. Eight so years ago, I, girl, um, that was like now, back in 2003, yeah, honey. Like, what are you talking about? Me, I'm more of a we have a lot of fishy queens this year, like which I love. But you bitch, can't like, base you your win like, on your lips, looks. Like, a lot of girls have like, filled with that. She's very confident. She's cute though. What I love about drag is by being my most authentic self, by doing how I want to do drag, I can like empower other people to do the same. Now that was a pageant answer. <laughs> yes, that was definitely a pageant answer. <laughs> She's cute though. I don't mind her. I can clap back if I need to. Okay, oh, here we go. Started. I mean, and look at me. It's such a bitchy answer. Like she doesn't come off like that, but okay. <laughs> I'm most nervous about the food. About the like, food? <laughs> I'm a big kid. People like me, no one's gonna shave my back. Because I have a really hairy back, and the last thing I need is to walk on the runway, and we'll probably be like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> I'm scared about that. Oh, I love her already. Oh my god. <laughs> Candy Muse. Oh, I love Miss Candy already. It like, seems like she's she's here thing. to have a good time, which I, I love. I also lie because all I was lie. I don't do any of that. But <laughs> I think people have a good time. Grab myself in one word would be loud. When people first it would be loud. <laughs> Miss Candy. Honestly, truth. Once you get to know me, you gonna have a good time. You gonna laugh. You gonna. Oh, I'm here for her. And you know what? Like me, but there's something wrong with you. You're bitter. You're bitter. <laughs> I got my shoulders out. I got my shoulders out. <laughs> and you know why? Because I inspire myself. Because I'm self centered and I look in the mirror and I'm like, Work, oh, Miss Candy. Bitch. Bitch. That's right, Miss Candy. You know, watching Drag Race, I've never seen a queen like me. I like her a lot. That, I mean, I'm a queen so pretty as me, bitch. All these bitches are ugly. That's <laughs> Every single bitch I've walked into all 13 years of Drag Race is ugly. Candy is a true beauty of drag race. Oh my god, no, I'm kidding. As a joke. Is a true beauty of drag race. <laughs> oh, I love her. It's my drag. It's weird coming into drag race as a drag race child, especially because Aja did so well on All Stars and uh, Dolly went home first in her season. So <laughs> I don't know what I went for them, but I definitely want to win for myself. Did she just shade her sister? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yes, Miss Candy, I love her. And I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. To dance, I love to entertain. I have a little edge appeal. Okay, Miss Lala. She gives you like she's gonna juke real good. Colorful. I'm not the sewing kind of girl. Girl, you better hope that there's no challenge like that. Girl, we gonna cancel you out right now, honey. Then you're not my top three so far. Girl, you better really come to realization what real quick, honey. Fashion. All right, we looking forward to it, cause well, baby, I'm, I'm still looking for the fashion. She gives you that. I'm very homegirl. I'm not impressed with that one. Olivia comes from Olivia Pope from Scandal, fierce black woman, leading lady, Lux. She's a young queen. She's a pretty queen. She's fun and the body I like her look. It's cute. I love to play piano at my shows because it's such an intimate moment where I get to like do a little music. Okay. Little she plays piano. RuPaul's Drag Race. She's cute. I like her. Big, a little newer that maybe 
challenging for me in this because this is the Olympics of Georgia. Oh, she's, one of the that's not a good thing, honey. You better be confident in this. I only really ever play games and things to win. There's definitely <laughs> Cute answer. I, and I'm going to grow right into that crowd. I ain't mad. She's cute, though. I like her. Not a top three, but she's cute. The quintessential New York showgirl. I'm always on stage, singing, dancing. I appreciate her style. It's very punk rocky, which I like. It's different than than the glamour girls we see. Oh, she's a live performer. <laughs> Lived on the street. <laughs> that was cute. We were like, oh my god, yeah, good. I'm gonna help you. But then I was like, I gotta go. They need to have a really solid, concrete grasp on what's happening in the world, and they need to positively generate energy to help the greater good. And that is my number one interest. Good answer. I like her answer. That's what I'm good at. So yeah, she just very seems so sure of self, which I like. Wouldn't have come if I didn't come to win. That's right. I like her. I like Rosé. Look at it. Marvel at it. Get into it. Read it. I like the hair. I describe Simone as the Ebony Enchantress, darling. The black goddess who's come to Earth to save all of you. That's right. Arm, honey. I like her. Naked. Love, Rihanna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really like the looks that she's gonna probably bring this season. I'm sure of it. The more fun side that I don't necessarily show all the time to everybody. Cause you ain't worthy. I'm the most. Cause you ain't worthy. Number one. Cause I'm here to win. Okay. And some form of jealousy. <laughs> I came to see all of them. I came to see all their heads roll, bitch. It's over. I like, I like Miss Simone. Come on, Miss Simone. I people need to see that. I like her personality a lot. The Ebony Enchantress, baby. The Ebony Enchantress, baby. <laughs> Be surprised that an old room like myself can still yes yeah, she do look old she looks like she old she old baby she got the old pageant hair and Hello, stuff I'm Tamisha Iman, Tamisha I'm Iman. It takes an army yeah. to actually put someone together but it takes an Iman to put Tamisha together my fashion is very hawkish. Girl, she if gives you pageant mind, answers, bitch. Like she had life. scheduled and I'm jotted down on the notebook. Other so even if I like what Beyonce has on, I have to take it to the next level. Kid. Why would she reference Beyonce? I don't know. She's not. She just, she doesn't rub me the right way. It's too textbook. But to find out that it was my daughter, Lala Ree, that was really amazing. You know, we work in oh, mother and daughter. In the game. This what? should be good. Yeah. Mm, it's whatever to me. I was just walking down the street at 3 a.m. and you were in an alley. You'd probably run. You'd be scared. You ain't gonna mess with me. I've been doing drag. I like her personality. Dress for Halloween. So basically, I'm the babysitter or the dad, as everyone likes to call me. I'm the dad. <laughs> no baby, sit down. <laughs> no baby, sit down. <laughs> I like her look too, life. though. I'm a comedy costume clown. I love, yeah, she I love gives you like a like a comedy you know queen. Like, so stupid drag, like I'm into that. I want to put on a show. I like you know what stupid what drag. I like all types of drag, but you know, you need a different variety of stuff, you know, on a show. So I, I appreciate she's on this season. I, I, I think she's the first comedy queen on this season. Well, yeah, the first girl that came up. That is a Paul doesn't want you, and I said, hi. <laughs> show them, girl. Show them. Because if we are stronger as a community than we are as a nation. Okay, girl. She's carrying now. She's a dork, which I like. Oh, she's a she's a cork, honey. She's laughing at herself. That look is questionable. Which, for some reason, kind of works. She's a fucking crazy kooky queen. It's honestly kind of low-key scaring me, but I'm liking it a little. It seems like she'd be sitting in her, in her room in the corner somewhere, like facing the wall, like talking to herself and rocking in a chair. Oh my God, she's fucking crazy. I just don't want the other queens picking on her because she's so out of the box. Oh, it seems like she has no friends. <laughs> she needs friends. <laughs> she's so cute though. 
oh my god, she literally has given me so many emotions in this interview. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Artistic, yes, of course you are. Because I am the brightest one in the room. <laughs> I'm gonna snag that crown, and it's gonna go on top of all my hats. <laughs> Weird as hell, but I love it for some reason. So good. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my um, reaction and review of Meet the Queens season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, what can I say? Uh, it's a very interesting selection of girls. You have, a, like this season, I think you have a lot of like fishier queens and less of the comedy queens, um, which should be interesting and it should be a very catty season because usually beauty queens are often catty because they think they're the cat's meow. So just out of the gate, my top three will probably be Miss Delani, Miss Joey J, Miss Candy Muse is a fucking hoot. Oh, but I do like Miss Simone too. <sighs> okay, so it would be Delani, Joey J, Simone, and just a runner up for a top four would probably be Miss Candy Muse because I, she has to be make it to the end of the season because I need the key key. I just need the key key. Um, none of them necessarily, all of them, all of them are pretty good queens. It doesn't seem like none of them were like blop except for Miss um Except for Miss T Tanisha Iman, she just seems so whatever to me. I just, it's like, okay, girl, I get it, you're old, but is that the only, it, well, that's probably going to be an interesting dynamic between her and her daughter, Lala Rue, Lala Ri, La Rue, whatever. So let me know who you guys' favorite queens are from what you've seen so far. I'll list them all down in the comment section below. Um, I really want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on the queens. I'm excited about it. Are you guys excited about this season? So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys did like it. And obviously hit the subscribe button right there, right in the corner if you guys haven't already. And like always, life is your vision and it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one, you guys. Bye.